What's up guys Darren here bringing you another video and in this video I will be showing you guys how to hack android games using game guardian. With that said, let's get this video started. So game guardian is a game hack or alteration tool. With it you can modify data such as your money and so much more. Before trying to install game guardian ensure that you go to your settings. Scroll down to security and enter unknown sources is enabled. Once unknown sources is enabled, you can go to this website and download Game Guardian. Keep in mind the root is required in order to use Game Guardian. So if your device is not rooted, a link will be in the description below to a video I made showing the top 3 ways to root your Android device without using a PC. I already have Game Guardian installed. So I'm going to open it. So just select start and as you can see there's now a game guardian icon on screen. You can move around the icon just so it does not get in your way. Now you want to open the game you want to act. Then tap on the icon to open Game Guardian and select the game from the list of processes. So the first game I'm going to show how to act using Game Guardian is Subway Surfers. If you guys want to see a bonus feature of this app then you will need to watch to the end of the video for that. So I'm going to show you guys how to act the high score on Subway Surfers. So I'm going to start playing in order to show you guys this act. You want to pause the game, then resume the game and check the amount of meters you have run. Once you find the meters, open Game Guardian by selecting the icon and select the search button. Now you want to search for that value. So I'm going to enter the first value I ran which is 205. Change the type to D word. Then select new search. Once the values are found, you want to repeat this. So I'm going to resume the game and play some more. Now I'm going to pause then resume to see the new amount of meters which is 435. So I'm going to open Game Guardian and search for that value. Now select refine. Since there's more than 5 values, I'm going to continue until there's less than 5 values. The new value is now 2764. Since there are less than 5 values, we can now change the value. You can change these values by selecting this icon. Now I'm going to change the value to 999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,
As you can see, my current ice score is now over a billion and I'm receiving a lot of achievements for that. Now I'm going to stop playing so you can see my ice score. A few moments later. As you can see my ice score is over 1 billion and that is my new ice score. Now moving on to the next game which is Jetpack Joyride. This time I'm going to show you guys how to modify the tokens. So I'm going to play a game and collect a few tokens to show you guys this mod. As you can see I collected 2 tokens. Because I want to have more than 2 tokens when showing you guys this act, I am going to watch the video to earn 3 tokens. 12 seconds later. Now I am going to open Game Guardian and search for the amount of tokens I have which is 5. Remember to change the type to D word as well. Now that I am finished searching for the first value, I will go back to the game and spin. So the value of the token is now 4. So now I'm going to go back to Game Guardian and search for the new value which is 4. Then I'm going to spin again and now the value is 3. But I earned 3 extra tokens so the new value is now 6. So I'm going to open Game Guardian and search for 6. After searching, I have 3 values. Since I have less than 5 values, I can change the value. So select this icon and now I'm going to change the value to 999. Then select yes. Now I'm going to spin again. So I used one token from the 999 which should leave me with 998 tokens. As you can see on screen, I have 998 tokens. So now I am able to use more tokens than I collected. Next app we are going to take a look at is Plants vs Zombies. So what I'm going to be modifying on this game is the amount of sunshines. So the first the value is 50. So I'm going to open Game Guardian and search for that value. Ensure that you change the type to the word, then select New Search. Now that it is finished searching for the first value, 
I am going to collect the sunshine and search for that new value. So the new value is 75. So I'm going to search for 75. Since there's only one value after the search, I'm going to now change the value. So I'm going to change it to 99,999. Now the reason the value went down to 9,990 is because there's a limit. But as you can see, I have more sunshines than what I started with. And so I am able to purchase any item. Since there's a limit, I am going to show you guys another feature that will allow my sunshines not to move. This feature is called the freeze. So I'm going to freeze my value at 9750. So select this icon and select freeze. Now select yes. The value should now be freezed regardless of the amount of sunshines I collected or the amount of sunshines I used. So that is a great feature of the app. Now onto the bonus feature. I'm going to be showing you guys this on Sonic Dash. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. So as you can see, I am now playing. The feature I'm going to show you guys is a feature called the speed act. You're able to do this by holding down on the icon. Now you can change the speed. So right now I am slowing down the game. As you can see, the game is now extremely slow. Now I'm going to speed it up a bit. It is really still slow but not as before. So this is the speed feature. Slowing down the game will allow you to collect more coins and it will be a lot harder to lose. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Now just for testing purposes, I'm going to speed up the game. As you can see, the game is going extremely fast. Now I'm going to bring it back down. Then I'm going to speed it up again and as you can see it is moving extremely fast. So that was the bonus feature of this app. There's a lot more stuff this app can do and I do think this is the most powerful Android hacking app if you know how to use it. I might be doing a few more videos on this app to show you guys some more of the features. So if you did enjoy this video then remember to smash the thumbs up button and if it is your first time here, then you do want to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.